It's a pretty bright light on there, isn't it? Not bad. Look at that. You ever thought about making your home a little bit more secure? Well, I think I got the product that's going to work for your circumstances and pretty much anyone's circumstances. So, um, there's a big difference with this light, though. However, you see this big black dot right here. This big black dot and circle is also a camera. So, not only are we talking a big, nice, bright light, but we're also talking about a camera. So I know you know all the rings and all those spotlights from all the other camera companies. Um, very expensive in the two, three hundred dollar price range. Now, this one right here, a fraction of that. Stay tuned to find out more. What's up, guys? John back here with another video on your simple basics as far as keeping your home safe, a little bit more secure. And what we're going to be talking about today is actually this bad boy right here. And as you can tell with their box, they basically got it listed as wall lamp camera, simple wiring, human body induction. Um, and this is your basic picture right here. So they got this listed as model number BES slash V02 Wi Fi smart camera. And it is a power DC 12 volt, so it does have to be plugged in to work. Um, not hardwired in, plugged in. And it does have a standard 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal that needs to be sent to it in order for it to work. So um, pretty much, pretty straightforward. I'm sorry, pretty straightforward when you start talking about all the other cameras and everything like that. Like, you know, most ring spotlight cameras have to be hardwired in um, to a junction box. They do require uh, 2.4 gigahertz. I believe those ones run off of 5 gigahertz too, which those are two different Wi-Fi formats. But they require the same amount of features, same Wi-Fi gigahertz network. They either have to be plugged in or hardwired in. Um, in my personal preference, I'd rather plug something. I, I'd rather run a couple extension cords and plug it in than actually have to run a, a junction box and a hardwire system like the other ones require. Um, so this is kind of where this, this thing comes into play. So uh, now that we got those out of the way, uh, now that we got the box out of the way, I should say, this camera right here is a pretty nice camera, as you can tell. Do some close-up shots of this thing. It's got nice LEDs. It's got what is that? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 26. So it's got it's got around 32 LEDs in there. So um, you can't go wrong with that. When you start talking about lights, the more LEDs, the more lights, the better. And when it comes down to lights, you want something that's going to be bright, blinding bright. When it comes down to scaring an intruder off, because at the end of the day, that's all this is for. This is for to scare an intruder off. It's not designed to scare you away, obviously. Now, you can use the lights as a walkway on your pathway or anything like that, you know. Uh, the lights work fine for that. However, it's a little brighter than what you probably want as far as a, a little walkway light. Um, this doesn't say specific lumen output, but if I had to take a guess, I would assume this is at least a 1,000 lumens worth of light, which is really bright for a security light. Uh, most hardwired lights that you put on your garage, uh, dusted on lights, they're about a thousand to two thousand lumens. So this is right there, right in the in the beginning of it. So you're not going to go wrong with the amount of light that it outputs. And as you can see, see, there's looks like eight more of these dots on both sides of the LEDs. And the cool thing about these is these are actually infrared lights. So these light up red at nighttime, which to be honest. When the light comes on, when it detects motion, there is no point to have night vision on because you can record on this camera in full color mode. So in my mind, I don't understand why you'd ever want a black and white video when you can have a full colored video. But nevertheless, it is there if you do want to use it. It's completely up to you. Uh, some people don't want this full bright light to blast on someone and give away the position of this camera. They might just want to keep it in black and white or infrared, which is fine. It's completely up to you. The option is there though. So um, going back to the camera, this is a 1080p camera, which is actually pretty clear. Um, it's not the clearest 1080p cameras I've ever uh, used, and I, I'm a very big camera person. I have cameras all over my house, um, and I have a lot of 1080p cameras, and this is by far not the clearest 1080p. Um, it is still clear enough, though, to where you can make out a person's face as long as they're within like 15, 20 feet away. Um, you can still make out the car. Um, it still gives you a pretty good picture in regards to what's going on. Uh, the moment you go on to see what's going on at your house. Now, the great thing about this system is it's very optional to suit what you what your needs are. So for me, for example, I love light. I want light on all night long, 24-7, and I want it to turn off during the day. Now that's the beautiful thing about this feature. 
or this light and camera is it does do that you can actually on the app which I will link into the video um, the app does show how you can specifically choose whether you want the light on just motion so only when there's motion detected meaning if somebody walks in front of it or by it or if a car drives by which the motion does go pretty far um, it does go off when the when the motion is detected now if you want to just have your light on 24 7 all night long and when I say 24 7 I don't mean literally from morning to nighttime I mean 24 7 throughout the whole night so if you want it on um, as soon as it gets dark and then turn off during the day when it gets bright enough this can do that too which is a phenomenal feature because your average dust to dawn floodlight is going to run you 50 60 70 dollars depending on what type of light you get and there's no camera in that light that's just a light by itself now if you want to take the extra step and go ahead and just hook this thing up to your Wi-Fi, which is very easy, you have a camera and a spotlight, which I don't see how you can beat that, especially for the price. I paid about $35 for this light system on Amazon. I was blown away because I was actually considering getting uh, the ring floodlight, which, you know, it's proven, it's got the track record, um, and it is a pretty nice light. However, I don't like the 2000 Calvin light which that to go on the Calvin scale real quick anything under about 4,500 to 5,000 Calvin is going to be more on the yellow more whiter side anything past 5,500 Calvin you're going to be more on the bluer a uh, lot brighter white side so me personally I like the brighter white light that's just my personal preference it comes to down to whatever you prefer I prefer to have more blue in my light I just like the way that looks it's more eye catching to me everyone's different though this light right here comes in a cool blue. It does come in different options though. You can get it in a warmer color or you can get it in a bluer color. So they give you more options once again where for the money, 35 bucks, you can't beat that. Um, overall construction is pretty good. It's, it's made out of a hard plastic so nothing crazy. It does come with two external antennas which is nice. Helps you with your Wi-Fi signal. Um, my overall experience with the Wi-Fi signal, it's about 50-50. Sometimes it connects, sometimes it doesn't. I have really good Wi-Fi here. I have a really expensive router. My Wi-Fi is great. Um, so I'm assuming it, it might just be this unit. I did contact the company. They told me that it's probably the unit and they're going to exchange it for me. So um, I, I will say that I did have it, uh, another one actually, and that one worked flawlessly. Never had connection issues. Always worked every time I went on the app. Perfect. Done. No problems. This one, however, it's about 50-50. So uh, I'm going to exchange it, see how that goes, and then maybe I'll make an updated video on that. But as of right now, connection definitely seems to be a little bit of a problem, uh, even with these massive movable antennas. And you can put these antennas any way you want. You can widen them out. You can widen this one out, leave this one straight up. It just They're completely movable. And they move back and forth, which is actually really nice. So you can move them back and forth as well. And as you can see right up here, it does have one single hole, which you can put a screw in. Um, that's for your screw head and it will hold this up no problem um, in my opinion this thing weighs about I don't know I'd say three to four pounds so it's not very heavy literally you could put this uh, on two-way tape which is exactly what I did I got the velcro industrial velcro double-sided tape so this works out really well you put the velcro on the, the wall and I actually have it on brick so it actually holds up really well put this on the brick side connected to that you're good to go I think I paid like four bucks for a pack of two or three of these so they're definitely an option if you want to just kind of put it up wherever without actually drilling into your house this is a second option for that the screw totally fine if you know for sure you don't you're never gonna move it you want it there you, you want to keep it there um, the screw is totally fine but you gotta drill into your house that's once again a preference whatever, whatever you decide to do um, and then going on to another feature it does have two-way audio so as you can tell right here it's got the little speaker holes these speaker holes are for two-way audio which is awesome because you can also communicate and you can also hear what's going on uh, which is a, a really phenomenal feature to have on something like this where if you decide to plug this thing up closer to your front door or your back door guess what you got two-way audio now and it's very loud <laughs> when I say loud it's very loud I have the Arlo Pros um, I also have the uh, wise indoor cameras um, I have a lot of cameras and this one by far the speaker is louder than those other cameras which blew my mind I'm like how is that possible that a $35 camera is louder speaker talking than the other cameras but I digress that's whatever uh, overall quality like I said is pretty good I, I think it, it, in my opinion it does very well it, it's actually on the same same plastic on all four corners so 
It does come with a little slot down here, and this is for your micro SD card, so it's a little bit of a pain to open because this is a waterproof system. Uh, but you just plug it in right there. Literally slides right in. Now you got SD card, and guess what? You can capture all your videos on your SD card, which means you do not have to pay anything for storage if you choose not to. Um, going back to the app features, uh, it's a pretty clean up app. It's not perfect. It runs well. Um, you can definitely tell it's not made by one of these big companies like Ring, Arlo, um, Nest, all those companies. They have really nice layouts on their apps. This app's not the best, but it, hey, it works. You download it, it works. Uh, like I said, you can control the operation of the light. You can choose when to turn it on, when not to turn it on. Um, you get a lot of different options with that, so it's kind of a cool thing. And if you want to just turn it on just for no reason, guess what? In your app, you click on a few things, boom, turn on the light, good to go. You have your light on. Um, and you can turn it on to auto, where it only comes on when it detects motion. Now, going to the motion real quick, this thing's very sensitive. Um, it has a lamp adjust sensitivity where you can control how the light comes on, how sensitive it is for the light to come on. And for my opinion, it's very sensitive. So you can literally walk within 5, 10 feet, boom, it comes on. If you go out to 25 feet, boom, it comes on. Um, cars passing by, more, and more than likely it's going to come on. And that's all depending on where you place this light at. So me, I got a front dead center of my house facing the street, facing the sidewalk facing everything so it's gonna it's gonna show a lot of what's going on and it's gonna go it's gonna react to that too for the most part and it does have a pretty wide field of view so um, for my opinion I would say the, the field of view on this camera is about 120 degrees which is a really good uh, field of view it's not 160 degrees like most other high-end spec cameras but 120 is plenty that's all you need to see exactly what's going on in front of your house um, and it gives you a pretty, pretty damn good picture of what's going on around your whole entire front house. So um, it's really good light. Like I said, for the money, I, I don't see how you how you beat this. Thirty five bucks. Some sometimes it's about forty bucks, but even forty dollars, I would have paid fifty dollars for this light. Um, just because I was at that point where I was like, I really do want a new light for the front of the house. Um, and then I started looking on Amazon and I came across this right here, and I'm like, wow, I don't really need the camera because I got surveillance around my whole house, but why not have another camera? It's pretty much free, you know, because you're thinking 35 bucks for this. It's pretty much free. They throw in a camera on top of that. So that, you can't beat it. You know, why not use it, hook it up? And then you have another another visual of an area in front of your house, which you might not even need it. But hey, it's there. It's it's included. So you can't beat that. Um, so yeah, what I'll do is I'll end up linking in this video some uh, pictures or still shots or maybe even some uh, screen simulation of how the app works, how everything functions and operates, and uh, give you some sort of idea of how it works. But um, overall, it's a great outdoor, indoor camera, uh, slash light. It, you can't beat it for the money, I'm telling you. If you want to just spend, if you want just a light by itself, that's totally fine. You can use the light by itself. You don't have to use the camera if you don't want to. Um, if you want to use it for the, the camera and the light, Beautiful. You got a double double package right here. And for that type of price, you can't beat that because those other floodlight cameras are starting at like $180. They go all the way up to $300. And this is almost as bright, if not brighter. But then it also comes with the same 1080p high definition camera that those other ones come with. So um, I'm just trying to save people money here. And when it comes down to it, I've done it. I've been there. I've done it all. And if I could take it all back, I would have just went with this. You know, maybe the longevity is not as good as the other cameras I listed off. But at the end of the day, if you get a couple years out of a $35 light and camera, I don't think anyone's going to be mad with that. So uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Please like and subscribe to this video and more to come. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there with this virus that's running around. Uh, do your best to stay indoors. Do your best not to get other people sick if you feel sick. If you do feel sick, go to the hospital as soon as you can. Get yourself checked out and verify you do not have that, that stupid disease that's out right now. And as a nation, we should be able to fight this thing. So um, if you have any questions, like I said, leave them in the comments down below. We'll catch you on the next one.